Look, boop, I dropped it. Nothing fell, nothing broke. 22 watts. Boop. All right, so as you can see, chart ASAP. It's a magnetic cable. So it supports Type-C, Lightning, and micro USB all at the same time. And it also supports data, not just with power. Let's see what's inside the box. That very freshly presented. And let's just see the magnetic mechanism. So one side that's labeled here, that one is stuck on. And the other side here, look at this, boom, just broke it in half. And I can switch over to Lightning just like that. That's, that's a really good magnet. Perfect. Comes in. And let's see, micro USB. Like that. And what's cool, it's reversible, the micro USB. So you can actually spin it around. Perfect. So you have one cable that can pretty much do them all, all the different tricks. Now it does come with a cable tidy to keep your cables not so messy. So just easily attach it on like that and it's connected and unconnected and it has several layers depending on how long you want the cable to be. And also you can see the design, it's a braided cable. So it's a lot nice to touch and it's a lot more protected than the cheaper plastic cable that you get on normal cables. And not only that, the amazing thing about this, it actually has an LCD screen right here. So it actually tells you how much power is going into your charging points. So let's go check it out. So for the first test, I'm going to be using my MacBook Pro as the charger. You can see right there, start off the show, it says zero watts. So as I've got the lightning connected, let's try charging up my iPhone. Hit charged. It's, this is already charged, this iPhone. The green light there shows that it's active. And you see that it's providing one watt of power just to keep the iPhone's battery from not being used. And what's pretty cool is I can just disconnect the cable just like that and it'll still be plugged into the iPhone. So previously, if you ever had a trip or if you might walk past it, instead of the phone falling on the floor, the wire falls off instead. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Android. And this guy's 65% charged, so it's going to charge a lot faster. And look at this, this is going to be cool. It's going to flow in and it finds its home just like that. And now it's starting to charge, as you can see. Now, if we look at the actual LCD, you can see that it's actually charging at 8 watts. So it's pumping juice into the battery at 8 watts. So it's connected, charging my Android, or is it? Maybe I'm now charging my iPhone. Boom. It's a pretty fun trick. I like that. Now we've seen how much power the MacBook Pro gives to my phone. Let's see if I put a proper dedicated charger into it and how fast the phones will charge using that. So this guy right here is a 45 watt charger. Let's try the iPhone. Boom. It's 100% charged and it's pumping it two watts. Looks fully charged right here. Now let's switch over to the Android, which needs charging. 65% so it's charging up and it's pumping it with 22 watts so it's a lot faster to charge your phone using the dedicated outlet than a MacBook Pro and you can actually see the figures here and if the cable starts faulting out if it ever does you'll know because you've actually got the charge indicator right here let's see how the iPad charges so I'm going to disconnect the phone it is a bit tricky unplugging it you gotta you gotta first just move the cable and then a little bit tricky unplugging it I gotta say but once it's in, you're happy. So it's charging up the iPad now, and we can see we're pumping 15 watts into our iPad. And I guess this is just an older 2018 edition iPad, so it doesn't charge as fast as what the bad boy brand new Samsungs do. One of the other cool things about this cable is that it actually supports data read and write. Now, typically I've got this SSD over here, and it is reading and writing at around 700 read. And the writing is a bit slow, but 700 read. Let's see how good this magnetic cable fares. So as you can see, unfortunately reading is a lot slower than a dedicated cable, but on a positive, you can actually see how much watts the SSD is using. So this bad boy is using two watts of power while it's pulling all of that data. So while you can use it as a data cable, it is a bit slower, but the benefits of this guy is mainly for the power and protection. Look, boop, I dropped it, nothing fell, nothing broke, any tugging, it's all connected and it's easy to reattach. All right, let me know what you think of this magnetic data cable. I guess the only negatives is the data transfer speed and actually unhooking it is a bit tricky. Maybe if there was handles here to make it remove a bit easier, that would be nice. But the fact that it gives you protection 
when pulling your cables. I'm sure that's going to be a lifesaver for a lot of people out there. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show.